This should be getting 60 per minute. There we go. Now it's looking. Now it's looking proper. Now we should be making a lot more plastic. Double the plastic. Double your plastic. Double your fun, as they say. Yo, welcome back to another episode of the playthrough series. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a great day. And look, the sun is just rising for us. This is a perfect start to the episode. In the last episode, we got these two refineries working, making plastic, and they used up all the resin. We're not producing anymore because this fuel output is full. And so these refineries can't output anything right now until we flush those pipes. But we're gonna get that going again so that we have an excess of plastic. And in this episode, my goal is to unlock or complete rather the expanded power infrastructure milestone so i hope you'll stick around for that and make sure to subscribe if you're new here so you don't miss any future episodes the playlist to the full playthrough series will be linked in the description as well as in a card above this video thank you guys for watching and let's get into it all right so the first thing i want to do is actually run over there because i saw that crash site when we were building over here and i want to see if it has any extra computers because we are in dire need of computers right now the more free computers we have the better the quicker we'll be able to unlock our power generators that's that's the real goal here are these cables what where's the good stuff needs an oh 42 megawatts oh, we need power here are you kidding me this crash site sucks oh boy uh, there be there better be some computers in that cargo hold. Let's go run a cable out here. Okay, I'm getting a little excited. I hope there's 100 computers in there, but I'll settle for any number really. What? Hey, 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 hey! I got power. Come on. Oh, it's over here. That's why. <laughs> this is it. <gasps> computers! What? This is hard drive. Literally, that's it? One item? Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Okay. I guess that's cool. Let's go see what's in this sucker. We don't have a MAM here, though. Build a new one. Wait, if I build a separate MAM, is it still gonna have all my progress in it? Okay, good. There's the hard drive. Scan that baby. Ten minutes. All right. Oh man, we should have uh, we should have done this research a while ago. We we totally have enough to make some of these. Yeah, see like this. Where's where's the wire? Can we get that going at the same time? Okay, no, we can't. So that's gonna have to wait. We'll see what what we get from that, if anything. Onward. Well, let's make a fluid reservoir. Fluid buffer. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do for now. Um, where's the input? Okay, there. Doesn't matter which way it goes. We need frames. Now this thing we can fill up and then flush. Alright, that gets us able to produce at least uh, some resin. Now how much can this hold? 400. What if we connect another one? Maybe we'll get a series of these going. That'll buy us enough time to come and empty this every now and then. Okay, it's going. And then we can flush the full network. Nice. Yeah, this will work nicely. Alright, so we'll have plastic production resuming here in a bit. Very nice. And while that goes, let's see about making those circuit boards. Aha! We can make three computers. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch of materials to make our circuit boards. We're gonna need a whole lot of copper sheets and 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 plastic. So let's go collect our plastic. We're not producing a whole lot of it. It's only 60 per minute. Oh wait, it's 20 per minute. It's using up 60 polymer resin per minute. Why is this bottle knife? This is a Mach 2. What is this thing? This should be a Mach 2. That's a Mach 2. And that's not a Mach 2. Why isn't it a Mach 2? Okay, 
That's looking a bit better. I was kind of backed up because it wasn't it wasn't the correct belt. This should be getting 60 per minute. Okay, there we go. Now it's looking now it's looking proper. Now the belt's saturated, so uh, this should be 120, splitting into 60 per minute, 60 per minute there. All right, we're load balanced. Our plastic production now. And uh, we do have two power shards, so we could use those, but if we use those on the, uh, the plastic refineries, then we would have to pump up production down here as well, which I think we could also support. Uh, because I think we have some more power shards. At least we have another slug. <laughs> so we could we could bump one of them up 50%. Oh no, there's more in the cave. Oh yeah, we've got two, three, four in this cave. So we're gonna we're gonna grab us some slugs right now. Slugs like caves. That's what I've learned here. All right, we got all three power slugs. Oh, there's one more across the way. Come to rescue you from this wet, cold cave. Come with me. Oh shit, there's fire coming out of this thing. It just got burned. All right, let's make some power shards. And how many circuit boards can we make? 20 circuit boards, yay! We're gonna need a whole lot of plastic. Okay, let's overclock. First thing we're gonna do is overclock these babies down here. This 50% should get us up to 60. And uh, if we overclock all four of them, we could make a whole lot more plastic. All right, so we've got 60 coming out of each one, which means we can actually lay down two more refineries making plastic. <gasps> so much plastic. All right. Oh, we should have flushed the pipe boiler down there. But uh, let's add the refineries first. Mm, very nice. And uh, we just need to tap the same pipe, which is very convenient. We are going to have to change this belt, though, to a level 3 belt. Hopefully this doesn't crash our power. So we're switching everything to level threes to support our new throughput. And we're gonna have to do the same thing on the first level and we might die again. <gasps> that was my fault. Obviously my fault. It doesn't hurt any less. I'm an idiot. I don't know why I did that. And now I just wanna cry. Oh boy. Okay. Excuse me while I run my ass back. No. Oh. Fuck no. Dark way. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh god, I'm not gonna make it. This is it for me. It's been a good life, but very short. How the hell? I think I'm lost. Oh god, there's a lot of critters in here. This is not gonna end well. Oh, and there's their mother. And she's angry. She's very angry. Is there a way through here? What? 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 No! Oh god! <gasps> what is this? Oh my goodness. The first purple slug ever! And we're gonna die! Oh! They set up a trap! They set up a trap! No, I don't wanna die with the first purple slug! Get me out of here, please! Oh god! That sound is terrifying. It's giving me goosebumps. Oh, it's still right behind me. Give me that. Oh my god. The first purple slug, fellas. Jesus Christ. How long is it gonna chase me for? Oh, I don't hear it anymore, but I'm gonna die. <gasps> oh my god, another crash site! Another freaking crash site! Give me that, give me that! I'm out of here! No! Grab and run! I didn't see any computers, but I'm not 100% sure, and uh, we still might die here. I feel like I'm super high up. I need to get down. Oh god, I don't want to die. No, hurry up. No, I can't eat the slug. Please. <gasps> Barrel nuts. Oh god, I ran right into that one. Oh, a slug. Oh, fire spitter. Of course. Of course there's a fire spitter. Oh, it's a yellow. Dodge first. Okay, go. 
Don't, oh, okay, we can't do that. No, we'll come back. We'll come back for you. Oh, this is not our day. Line of sight. Yeah. What the f- This guy's predicting my every move. Oh no, I can't juke him. I need my weapon. Where are we? I don't think we ever- No! No, the purple slug. The purple slug. Oh, this episode is gonna be rough. I don't know what to say. Except, I hate myself for dying. Okay, finally, finally, it's gonna be a fair fight. We have protection. Let's rock and roll. Okay, we're, we're back. We're back to crate number one. And what are we dying from? Oh, some toxic fumes. Crate number one has been recovered, or I guess that was crate number two. Now we're gonna go get our first body. So this thing must also have some research in it. Oh, it needs four rubber. Well, we should we should have rubber. We can uh, take care of that. Oh yeah, we need to see what our research gave us. Let's see what kind of technology we unlocked. What do we have here? The analysis of hard drive is complete. Select your desired reward. Uh, what? Oh, these steel screws. Bolted frame. What does the bolted frame give us? Steel rods. I don't I don't know what this would I guess maybe down the line this would lead to like new technology. Let's see steel rods new parts. Nope. It's just steel rods. I guess. Okay. Well, oh, yeah, we have our purple slug now where the power slugs here we go purple slug plus okay frames and able Ooh. Three seconds, huh? A little quickie. We now have purple power shards. What does a purple power shard give us? Five. Okay, just gives us five power shards. Uh, that was a little anticlimactic. I thought it was going to be cooler than that. Uh, but I guess it's something. All right, let's get our other body. Uh, we have way too much in our inventory right now. Oh, we need to flush this pipe. Flush that whole network. Where we died right. Look at this. We bounced off the ground and died right here. Right on the second step. Alright. Brought a bunch of screws with us. Some more copper. So you can never have too much copper. Alright. And uh, do we have beams on us? Yes. Because we're going to have to uh, throw down some level 3 belts here. Okay. Okay. Now these are all overclocked already, right? Yep. Okay, now we should be making a lot more plastic. Double the plastic, to be exact. Double your plastic, double your fun, as they say. Let's go see the plastic situation. Beautiful. So much plastic. And, uh, and we can't, we have so much plastic, we can't even hold all of it. What can we throw away? Two pieces of wood? No thanks. Okay. Now we're talking now. Now we have a decent amount of plastic. We're gonna we're gonna do things the standard way now. You're not gonna be see me messing around anymore. I'm not trying to run my ass all the way back from base. Painful. Okay, now let's see about making those circuit boards, shall we? How many can we make? 133. BRB folks. Alright. We just made a ton of circuit boards, 189 to be exact, and that should get us... Wow, that's only going to give us 18 computers. Okay, well, <laughs> that was a lot less than we were hoping for. This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while, but I am determined to finish this milestone this episode, so... Oh no, oh no, we didn't flush... Ah, oh, damn it, we didn't flush the system! Um, we're gonna let, let this continue and hopefully it won't take all day, but if it does, I'm willing to go there, okay? So, you guys sit tight and we'll, we'll see how long this takes, but we're gonna get it done. Alright, quick update. Uh, we ended up hooking up the second... Oh, god. What perfect timing. Yep, we hit our power limit there. We're gonna have to flip everything back on and probably unhook some of these assemblers. Oh no, it's gonna be a really serious problem. 
no, 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 crap. Alright, well, let's take all of these big ass things offline because to start up the power network, we need to be under capacity. Let's see if that helps. Alright, very nice. Wait for things to cool down a bit. So while that's cooling, what I did is I, this is why I'm drawing so much power, because I ended up hooking up the second oil extractor and that's feeding two of these guys while the other oil extractor is feeding the other two. And that's because we ended up overclocking these to produce some extra resin. And all the meanwhile, we hooked up two more of these, right? And so we had four, four refineries making plastic, but I ended up overclocking one of them. And so our output went up by a lot. But as you can see, it was too much for the power grid. And what I ended up doing was uh, connecting those four assemblers that you saw on the first floor so that uh, I could automate the circuit board production. That's what was going on there. And that's just because it was too tedious to be doing it on my own. So I'm going to connect these back up now that the network's back online because this is the most important thing here. Hopefully we can just sneak under and not blow a fuse because we need our circuit boards. Damn it. Wait, wait okay, stop, stop, stop. We already have 200. Holy crap, that was fast. Okay, let's turn this off for a second because we have a lot of circuit boards and not sure that we needed. I forget how many we need. 230, I think it takes 10. It takes 10 to make a computer. And uh, we need 80 computers, around 80. So, fuck, uh, that's 800 circuit boards. Okay, back on, false alarm, get everything back online. So yeah, it's gonna take a little while to make all of the circuit boards that we need. And in fact, I'm a little worried about running out of the copper sheets. Not sure that we've brought enough. Hopefully that doesn't happen. And this is going to be a much longer process to collect all these computers than I thought. Okay, what you see before your very eyes is my band-aid on this situation, and that is creating a field biomass burners. It was the only way I could get power trips to stop happening. So there is now our max capacity at 2k and I need to go turn everything back on. Hopefully that will be enough to get us through this episode, but these two guys over here are still idle. So let's hope, let's hope we don't lose them right now. Let's put them back up. Okay, cross our fingers. There we go. There's the orange line that's so scary to watch. Before we go up there, let's make sure that we've got everything we need down here. Oh, that was getting close. We'll flush that. Let's go get some plastic. And remember, we need 800 circuits. It's real out here. Circuits ain't playing. All right, this is now the next day. Totally underestimated how long it would actually take me to produce all of those computers. I set up a manufacturer and had this thing run. Oh no, holy crap, that was close. <laughs> I set up this manufacturer last night and uh, had it running for a couple hours, feeding in all of the parts that it needed. I just stopped it and took away the plastic supply. But yeah, I had overclocked this thing and we were producing 3.75 computers per minute. We now have a enough computers. The next thing to do before I head back to base is switch over all of our plastic production upstairs to rubber production so that we can get that last 120 or so. So let's do that. Okay, so we're now making a rubber instead of plastic. It's the exact same recipe. All it uses is the resin byproduct. And that's actually really convenient for us because it means we can switch these refineries to either whenever we want to, whenever it's convenient. So we're gonna go ahead and collect this rubber and then head back to base as soon as we have enough and unlock this milestone for our power generator. So let's do that. And by the way, 
after I added all of these constructors making screws, I kept having power outages and you can see we added so many biomass burners, but sometimes the loads were just too high. So I forgot that I unlocked these power banks here that can store charge. And so these are now hooked up. So it provides us a little bit of buffer and hopefully during times of really high load, these things will prevent us from having any power outages. So that was pretty cool. Once I get everything up and running and clean up this whole mess here, <laughs> once we unlock the power generators, we're definitely gonna add uh, these power storage devices to, to our energy infrastructure. So, but yeah, let's get this rubber and hit the road, Jack. All right, y'all, we just got back to base with all of the needed rubber and computers to finish this milestone, the expanded power infrastructure and unlock power generators. And look at that, we even have some extra parts to spare. So let's launch this baby. Milestone oh yeah. Launched. The fuel generator will match power generation to the increased consumption of recently acquired technologies and buildings. Additionally, improved conveyor belts and lifts can now be constructed. Ethereum scanning unlocked. Ethereum scanning? Does that mean we can mine it? <gasps> yes, the fuel generator. This is interesting. It, it kind of makes it seem like you can make the fuel or it can increase its fuel production to match the needed like the needed load. But as long as you're supplying it enough fuel, that's kind of an interesting concept. Does that mean we just need to build one of them? I don't know. We're, we're going to find out, but I'm so excited. We finally unlocked the fuel generator and we can start producing power from the refined oil that we've been mining or whatever, pulling from the well. So finally, finally, this episode took forever to get through two days, but we finally did it. And in the next episode, we are going to be setting up our fuel generator, baby. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to stick around for the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't so that you get notified. Turn on the bell notifications and check out my playlists in the description for the full playthrough series. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.